Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich and Holly. Garden Tour 5, I think. And we're out back. We're behind the, the big garden. I want to show you everything we've got going, and we've got a lot going. Past two weeks have been very productive. We've actually got some rain. Hallelujah. Um, back here by the acorn squash, and these have been doing really good. You can see, well hopefully, can you see how? That's uh, Couple there, yep. another couple there. There's two. Um, just a lot of the squash really preparing itself for fall. So, but I like that the size of it right now. Sometimes it gets so skinny that uh, it doesn't have a chance to fill out. This stuff's filling out, and now it's going to be hardening up here for the fall. So, I can see seven right here. It, we're going to barring squirrels and stuff getting out here, we're going to have a good harvest. I've got some stuff we're actually going to harvest tonight because uh, we've got our CSA tomorrow. So uh, as you can see, acorn squash, you know, multiple plants here, uh, a second set of acorn squash, and it's really starting to head out. We're still fighting weeds. I've, I've thrown in the towel that it's a winnable battle. We're trying. We're just trying to... Uh, Trying to stay ahead a little bit. Cantaloupe. Um, I gotta throw a little manure down on top. Holly had found a couple. There's a couple little guys. Boy, they're just juniors right now. Um, nothing to be proud of, but grow, grow, grow. A little manure and that might uh, help get that going. But it's spread out, getting a lot of good sunshine. Um, this. Oh, these are the Jack B. Littles. So they always wait till the last second and throw out a whole bunch. I can see a few inside. Um, I don't know, how can you see down in from this angle? See a couple down in there, little Jack B. Littles. But they kind of, they want to spread out. Um, give them another few weeks of spreading out and they'll be good. Here's something that we've never grown. Uh, Annette over at the Cow Emporium had Suggested this in one of her videos, and I thought, what the heck, let's, and it's, what is it, Holly? Patty pan squash. Patty pan squash. Little, little UFOs. And I guess they're like a summer squash, so you can slice them and have them with dip. You can, uh, you know. Saute them up. The roast them. is really good. Yeah, so we're going to grab a couple here for, uh, for the folks for tomorrow. Um. There's a couple more. Maybe I'll grab those in the morning. But I uh, wanted to pick the little UFOs. I've never grown these before, so I'm interested to try them. Maybe should have had a, some of those in dinner tonight. Maybe. We had a lot of stuff. We had some chicken and vegetables, but a lot of the vegetables were from the garden. So it's great. The onions, tomatoes. You had the peppers from last year. Yep. Um, other summer squash, um, eggplant. Yeah, so it was a good mix of roasted veggies. It was. Um, our watermelon, this is a secondary planting of watermelon. Um, so it's a few weeks behind what you'll see on the other side. Let's, let's explain watermelon over there because that's, that's our first planting and that's doing good. This will be later in the season. Um, spaghetti squash, and they're just starting to set fruit. Um, they're kinda, they look haphazard because I kind of spread them around after I burned the area. Um, to get rid of some of the weeds. But we're getting fruit here, and again, this is a secondary planting. So this is the one that's behind. All these in back are behind. This one, Jennifer, up at uh, Northern Girl Hobbies, um, sent me these seeds as part of an exchange. I'm gonna throw a little more manure in here, but these are the Hopi squash. I've never grown them before. And I've seen a couple, but they're the size of like a nickel. So we've been trying to regulate the, uh, the water, you know, get some more water on stuff. I'm going to throw down some manure in the middle. I've never grown them before, so I don't know if they're late, late bloomers or what, but they don't seem to be as productive as I'd want them to be. But we're going to continue giving them a go. Keep, uh, keep it going. And then what do we got here? Is this another cantaloupe? might be. 
I forget, I'm sorry, I don't have my map with me. It's throwing out all sorts of blooms in the past couple days. So I'm suspecting we're gonna have fruit here. Um, a lot of them look, uh, look male. So uh, then we'll get some females and uh, start putting fruit down. This is kind of all secondary planting. Then we get to the good stuff. <laughs> and I'm not gonna walk you through everything, but acorn squash, watermelon, the jumbo pumpkins, all sorts of stuff. You can see some spaghetti squash on from here. You can see some pumpkins on the second pile back there. I think this is pumpkins as well. Cantaloupe, another grouping over there. Um, some wall fans. There's a lot of activity going. You can see my my weed burner back there. That is the best thing ever. <laughs> best thing ever. Um, our, our zucchinis and yellows are are in heat. So uh, just some beautiful, beautiful squash. So um, everybody uh, in the CSA is getting a few of those tomorrow. There'll be more to grab of those in the morning, but just everything looking good. The zucchinis are taking off. Um, I love, I love our garden fabric. Note to self, if you're coming out with the big mower to mow the weeds down, turn the blade off when you go over the fabric. Note to everybody out there. You spend money on fabric, don't run it over with the lawnmower at one inch. Lawnmower. I mean, get, come on. These ones are fighting back. There we go. Some beautiful little zooks, and there's some bigger ones in there for uh, making some bread. So, plenty of, plenty of squash going. Head out here and head over to the other, the main garden and show the main activity. We got to keep our little door shut because we got a lot of visitors tonight that want to come with us. Our little girls are laying eggs now, and they're over here looking for treats. You know, while we're here, let's talk about the cabbage. You can see the uh, the green cabbage. I'm just letting a couple of them grow. We've got some seed down for a second planting. There's a few that are putting little smaller heads. I'm just letting those grow to get a little bit bigger. They're not useful for us, but I'm cutting them off and giving them to the girls, and they're just loving them. The uh, purple cabbage, on the other hand, look at those heads. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous heads, and we're gonna be uh, cutting some of those for tomorrow, too, um, into the garden. And then all the broccoli. We're gonna do a secondary planting of broccoli, but it bolted. I cut everything off on the broccoli, and we're getting a whole bunch of side shoots that are uh, real tender and real nice. So a lot of little secondary shoots uh, that are doing good. Hi. Come on in. We, not we, Holly did some harvesting yesterday of red onions and picked the entire tub of red onions back there and it looked fabulous. Uh, she ended up with five woven. I braided the tops together with some string so that we could hang them up so they can dry and make it easy to yep. use them in this winter. Yep, come here and let me show you. We got our, our squash bugs are coming around everywhere. They were on the leaf. They're, they're everywhere. These little squash, little bugs. I haven't been fighting them. I'm gonna let them do their thing. Um, Cause I have fought them in the past and not found a great solution yet. Um, so I'm just focusing on weed weed control and harvest um, our eggplant we've got two varieties of eggplant one that gets a little wider um, and one that's a little slimmer I'll go down and get a couple of those just gorgeous they're just gorgeous uh, 
fruit. It was and one of those that I used tonight that he just picked, and there's just a ton of flesh, very few seeds, even in that big of an eggplant, and it was tender, it was good. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, get a couple of those smaller ones. Just give me two seconds. While he does that, I'm going to come in here. You can kind of see some of the little offshoots of broccoli that we've been getting the side shoots that have been really good for us. Most of the plants down have been doing that. These other um, eggplant, again, just gorgeous. Uh, perfect fruit. The uh, plants, I didn't stake them. I wondered if that was going to be an issue. It isn't. They are really strong. They are producing, we've got nine plants of the smaller, and I don't know the varieties offhand, sorry, um, and then nine plants of the bigger, and they are producing like wildfire, um, which is great. We're all going to be using them quite a bit. Um, our pepperoncinis. I wanted to pickle them, and Holly informed me I got the wrong seeds. <laughs> I got Italian pepperoncini, which turn um, here, and they're going to be they're going to be just fine. Yep, we can still pickle them. We can still do. Yep, they're green and then they turn red, like most peppers, um, but they're not the bigger, fleshier Greek pepperoncinis that I wanted. So, lesson learned, something for next year. Um, we'll get it figured out, but we're gonna pet, picker, pickle these peppers this year anyways, but they're not the same. And I, I did chew on one the other day. They've got some heat, so they've got it going on. Um, but we've got a bunch of them, a bunch of them. So um, anybody local, if you need pepperoncinis, please let us know. Um, or some fun different hot peppers. Yeah, yeah, something different. Habaneros. I did a good look the other day. Let me set that down. I don't know if you can get in there. They're just loaded with fruit, but it's still green. Mm -hmm. They're going to be turning a beautiful orange here in another couple weeks. And then we're going to be absolutely loaded with habaneros. Um, I need to stake this up uh -oh. better. Yeah, here's our jalapenos. Can you see all the fruit in there? <laughs> uh, that's yep. what's falling over. I will try to stake it up higher, um, but they are so loaded on there, our jalapenos. And we did a relish, um, jalapeno and cucumber and some- Just a jalapeno pickle relish. It was awesome on hot dogs. Oh my. So we've got plenty of, of jalapenos because we've got almost an entire row of jalapenos. So we're going to be pickling. We're going to be dehydrating. We're going to be making some uh, powder. We're a lot of jalapeno activity and I'll, I got to pick a bunch of those for the people in our CSA there. There's some hotheads there and they're going to be loving life. Now, our next aisles. This is what's really taken off in the past two weeks. And I told you with our peppers how I um, will trim them up. I want them to be like little trees. I want them to force activity upward and into the fruit. And these little plants, you know, there's just some gorgeous, where was, there was one that We're just, we're getting some gorgeous fruit on this. I'm sorry, there was one that was a small plant, um, but they're, they're all just loaded with, uh, with good peppers. I mean, this one's got like, oh, you pick it right or you there break you the go. branch. They're just, there's some really good sized peppers on here and they're all coming in at the same time. So we're gonna go into heavy production, our, Habanero, jalapeno. Here's our anchos. 
and they are just like the others just loaded just absolutely loaded up a couple of them are turning yellow um, I don't know if you can see all that but it's just absolutely loaded underneath there with fruit and so we're, we're going into production mode I wish I could find that oh just the the size of them is just they're gorgeous um, in the back our potatoes are still growing we're waiting for them to kind of die back a little bit and brown up to get the potatoes but they're not they're continuing to grow so we're gonna let them go let's head down here and uh, oh the Brussels sprouts they have really gone vertical lately and um, are starting to put the little little buds out for shoots. In another week or so, I'm gonna start um, picking the leaves, uh, like I've done on the peppers, and force them vertical. Um, let them grow up, but they'll also, instead of putting energy into the leaves, they'll put energy into those buds. Now one thing I also have to cure, I need a butterfly net. We've got, uh, I don't have any big netting over it to protect it, and we've got a lot of cabbage butterflies, so I need to go come out here and catch some butterflies and let, not let them put the caterpillars down. You can see there's a, some holes in the leaves. They've been active. Um, one of our next projects is taking out the white onions, and that'll probably be here in another, within a week, we'll be pulling those out. Um, that might be my next Saturday project. The carrots are doing good. The kohlrabi, we're picking that. Um, as we... Head down this way, Hal. Let's. Where was that one that you pointed out? Right in down in here. And. Oh, yep. One of the pumpkins. This is a just a jack o' lantern hill that is doing really good, um, expanding quite a bit. Um, along here is our second planting of peas. I'm getting too far away from you. No one can hear. Um, our second planting of peas. The beans on the other side have been going bananas and we've been having beans for a month. Um, I think I'm going to plant one more planting of beans on this side, opposite of the other side, um, to get that going for fall and see if we can force beans in before we get frost. We're so close to frost, guys. I hate saying that, but we're six weeks from frost. So yeah. we're, you know, stuff that's 50 to 60 days. Hopefully we can get it in. So come on this way and I'll show you some other stuff. Our compost piles exploding. Some volunteer tomatoes. Um, butternuts. Yeah, our butternuts, yeah. And there's a whole, this, the butternuts are doing what they usually do. They just explode. Um, and as you can see, we're getting some, some wall fans coming on. There's one, two, three, four in there. They're just, you know, you can see as it's putting out as it's putting it out. Small fruit, the one it put out a few days earlier, a little bigger, a little bigger. Um, so these are doing great. I, I am not worried about these at all. Another month and a half we'll be picking these off and they'll all be beautiful tan. And Now, <laughs> this is what I can't wait for. Um, these are Holly's watermelon. What are they? Uh, baby dolls. Baby dolls. So a smaller variety, still not ripe yet. I would say this is probably two-thirds size. We're going to let it get bigger. Watch the tendril. Um, if you're wondering about um, when, they're, when they're ripe, I've got a great video from last year. I'll put it at the very end. Um, but don't thump your watermelon. Watch the tendril on there and you know. But the baby doll coming, coming soon. To a table near you and then here come on over here here's our Georgia rattlesnake obviously a bigger variety and this is probably half the size maybe a third um, it'll get it'll get longer and much plumper it'll end up being about 30 pounds 
Um, the tendril's still green, so we're good. Just gotta keep watering it. We're throwing a little bit of uh, manure down, trying to uh, just keep it healthy and, and happy, but it's expanding quite a bit. And we're trying to stay ahead of it on weed control. Finally, our tomatoes. Look at the tomatoes on the back. Look at these, I'm gonna put the, come on into Tomato Alley here. I'm gonna put a, cut a couple of these. Let me, gotta cut them at the right spot so you don't cut off their neighbor. Um, what are these again? German pink. German pink. The size of these things. Um, we've just got a couple that are monsters. Um, and a couple that have got a couple little holes in them, unfortunately, little pests. This thing has been a challenge, yet one of the funner things we've done. Tomato Alley here. Keeping everything growing and keeping it as one stock to maximize production instead of having it turn into this huge shrub but if you get some of these the, the production on these this is the big big cherry or giant is it giant cherry or large big cherry? cherry large cherry um, you can see all the red in there and they are large cherry um, those are good golf ball sized tomatoes don't mind if I do oh um, had some of those in dinner tonight. Then the black cherry. Is that what it is? Black cherry? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Let me just pop this quick. Mm. So this is one, one branch. Talk about prolific. When it comes, do. And they turn this beautiful black cherry, dark color. Hopefully, yeah. They're like sweet grapes or a light wine. It is just unreal. But the production, once they go, they're just starting now. And all the way up here too, it's just crazy. It's just thick. They are probably, if I were, if they were straight, they'd be nine feet tall. But you look, look at the production. When that puts it out, the number of, I don't know if it focuses on that, but the number of, uh, cherries we're going to get on that. It's unreal. Now, the yellow pear. I want to have, for tomatoes, a single plant coming up and not have all this side growth. With the yellow pears, I've lost. Like the weeds on the other side, I've thrown up my hands I have been cutting so much off to try to force it vertical, but it, it throws so many side shoots, and it's so prolific. Again, look at the, so what I'm trying to do is just nip, you know, I'll come out and nip the, the ends so it's up to the fruit, and then I let the rest of it go. It has been so productive with that, and the same with the Sweet 100s. To try to stay ahead of a cherry tomato I've tried. I just can't. But when I get so far behind, consolation prize. Um, what are these? Amish paste. I'm going to do a whole video on tomatoes, what I've done right, what I've done wrong. We had some inconsistent watering. It's been very well watered now, but there were some times where it dried because we just couldn't keep up with the watering. And then we watered, so we've got some cracks. Now I'm gonna pick these, we're gonna pick these in the next couple days, but there's a few areas we're gonna to have to cut out. Um, the fruit is big, it looks healthy, there's not uh, pests on it, but it cracked. Um, and it was just too much water after it was uh, a time of, uh, we did the feast and famine thing. So unfortunately we blew that. Then these are. San Marzano's. San Marzano's. So, the fruit there is just starting. Beautiful, smaller, smaller fruit all coming down at the... Very much like a Roma tomato. Yep. Yep. So they're coming and a lot of other sets of fruit. A smaller tomato. You know, it's only five feet tall compared to some of these that are eight or nine feet. 
then you're gonna have to be my tomato guide, hon. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know what, uh, some of these, well, some of these look bad because a bird was up on top and pooped on it. But uh, again, we got a few cracks on these. Um, Jersey Devils. Jersey Devils. And they won't on the ones going forward. We've been very good with uh, keeping, keeping pace with uh, watering consistently, but a couple of them cracked. But they're all doing well. And then the big old uh, German pinks. So we've got a lot going on. Um, it's so easy to come out and just, we just nip tonight. There, there is so much we could be bringing into Didn't even into get harvest. into the cucumbers or the, what's left of the beans. beans and um, there's going to be, for the people that are doing our CSA tomorrow, they're going to probably have eight different things, maybe nine different things. Uh, there's going to be a lot in those baskets. They're going to be heavy, which should be good. That's what they're, that's what they're coming to us for. And we're going to be doing some new things. Anyways, wanted to share. I'm out of breath. Man, a lot of talking. Um, and lugging around. We have, it's just been rocking here, finally. And now we see the end game. You know, within six weeks we could have frost. So we got to party when we can here now and pull everything in and get going and try to get another planting in if we can. Um, but thanks for watching. It's been fun watching everybody else's videos too. Seeing where we are. Some Minnesota challenges or channels and seeing where where we are compared to them and how far behind we are, um, but we're catching up quick. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate your viewing it. Take care.